So it's about 10 o'clock in the evening. I just came back from work. Um, I was doing a shift. Um, started at around about 1 o'clock. Finished at 9 o'clock. Finished off some paperwork and then came out. So anyway, to get to the point of this video is that I'm starting this series called... Um, not my inner thoughts. What the fuck is it called again? Note to self. Starting this series called Note to Self because, well, for three reasons, really. Um, one of them is not that I'm trying to become an influencer in terms of, you know, self-help or what to advise people. I don't think I've gotten anywhere in life that I can really, you know, try give people expert advice on what to do with their lives or whatever it is. The first reason is that I want something that I can do daily and, you know, just to keep me on track. Also, because I really, I really struggle with discipline. I know I went through medical school and you would think that I would have a lot of discipline because of that. But I, I, I struggle to do something repetitively every single day and to do that consistently, which is, I mean, if you watch any any video on how to make it or how to succeed in what you're doing, consistency is the main thing that they they tell you to to do or to perfect or or to at least have a grasp of and make sure that you work on that. So this is me trying to work on my consistency for starters and making sure that every single day I'm uploading some form of content onto my YouTube channel, um, social media. If I'm doing this, then it might remind me to post on Twitter. It might remind me to post on Instagram, blah, 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 blah. Um, so, yeah, that's the first reason. Second reason is that I want to be able to document this journey um, because if it works out, if I'm able to successfully become a musician from being a doctor, then it means someone else can consume these videos if they really wanted to know what I was learning along the way. And what got me to that level of success. I don't know what the level of success is going to be. But maybe someone is going to watch this in the future. And be like damn. You know. I could learn something from this guy. And then they'll watch from the beginning. And learn something. And thirdly. Which is actually. One of the most important reasons I'm doing this. Is that. I have a two and a half year old daughter right now. And. I always thought to myself. What if one day. You know. I die before. I can ever tell her all the things that I've learned in life, the things that are important that I want her to learn and the mistakes that I made and the, the mistakes I don't want her to make because, you know, they're easily avoidable if someone just tells you about the possible mistakes you could have made. I want her to be able to find this easily. Um, she won't have to search that hard. She'll look on the internet and and my YouTube channel and she'll find these videos. And this is pretty much what i would tell my daughter in the future i'm not saying i'm gonna die but you know shit if other people are gonna watch this then great for them let me get on to the topic of this video um this is the first one and i really want to just talk about doing more and what doing more means is make use of the time you have in the day because there's a lot of people who say oh i want to do this but i don't have time maybe because of work because of studying but to be honest there is a lot of time in the day it's a case of you using every single bit of free time that you can possibly make so basically you've got to create time in order to do more because those things that make you busy during the day are always going to be there if it's your job you you'll need your job for a long time so it's best to find ways to make time um, how I did that and how I've done it so far is that I make sure I sleep earlier. If I sleep earlier, I wake up earlier. So even if I wake up at at six, it's earlier than waking up at, at half past seven or seven o'clock, whatever it is, um, depending on when you start your day. Six o'clock will give me time to at least start planning what I want to do for the day. But I do try to wake up like half past four or five o'clock. That's that's when I know I've, I've, I've done it right, is waking up at those times. And... By creating those times, I'm able to do something that already allows me to win at the beginning of the day. Because winning at the beginning of the day is the first thing that you do in the day. is so important because then you're so much more positive about everything else for the rest of the day. And you look forward to doing certain things and you're not tired, you're not dragging your feet everywhere you go because you've already done something you've done one thing then you gain the positivity to do another thing that's positive and 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 building and works towards your career or your goals or your dreams whatever it is so yeah i think wake i think 
sleeping earlier waking up earlier they sound silly they sound simple but that's definitely what i i would say if you want to be able to do more secondly if you want to do more is planning so it's making time and then planning these two things i really hated before because i was i'm a type of person who just wants to do something when i'm in the mood to do that specific thing and going to sleep at the right time and all those things and making time for the things you need to do not just the things that you want to do but things you need to do those kind of things are boring as fudge i don't know if i'm gonna swear i swear a lot in real life i'll see it'll probably slip up sometime but yeah um definitely definitely planning i hate it i hate it to this day i hate planning but if i don't do it nothing nothing happens either nothing happens or very little happens or it takes very long to achieve what i want to do whereas if you just plan you can do so much more right now i'm actually working on a schedule on you know that will be like a thing that always reminds me when to post what to post where to post it to that's that's something that i wouldn't do in the past but i've learned to do that kind of thing i can't tell you how boring it is but i it's also the most important thing um if you fail to plan you plan to fail as everyone has heard but it's true a lot of musicians that i've spoken to will be like oh yeah i'm gonna drop the single and then you know push to radio yeah sure everyone is dropping a single everyone is pushing content to radio or trying to push it on the sound soundcloud or whatever it is it doesn't matter what matters is consistency in terms of getting content out. That's what matters. Um, yeah, back 10 years ago, maybe pushing to radio. But with the internet now, the most important thing is just getting as much content out there. And making sure that when someone finds like this video that, you know, I've got enough music on SoundCloud, that I've got enough music on Apple Music and all of these streaming websites for them to come down and actually start consuming more of me. I need to have more videos. What if someone really likes this series and it's like, oh, this is a good idea, but then they find two episodes. They're gonna be like, okay, what the fuck? I'm moving on. Ah, there it is. I saw, whatever. So yeah, I think having as, doing as much as you possibly can in terms of content and planning to release that content whatever you do even if it's art man don't don't spend two months on one painting or one picture challenge yourself to be like every five days or every week i'm going to finish a painting and i'm going to like if it's friday and i haven't finished it then i'm going to rush it and whatever but i want to finish it sunday come sunday you are done with that thing drop it monday you're on to the next one because you are always going to be better in the future get what i'm saying so this painting that you're going to paint now is not going to be as good as the next one because you're going to learn from this one. But I think a third point on how to do more is information. I mixed it up, but the first thing, the first thing that is actually important is information. The reason that information is important is because you've got to make sure that if you're doing a lot and you're doing more, you're doing more of the right thing. Do you get what I'm saying? So you've got to be working towards the right thing in the right way in order to become successful faster so if you are going to be doing music and you don't know anything about the music industry you don't know anything about what it takes in terms of a record label to get one artist known or how a record label functions or or, or the legal things that happen behind the scenes for an artist. If you don't know this stuff, you are already you heading in the wrong direction already. Or you might find the destination, but when you get there, so many people are going to screw you over and you're going to have to learn these things anyway. So why not just plan to learn these things as you go at the beginning so that in a year's time, you're so much better you've got so much more knowledge and you're heading in the di right direction because everything that you try to do 
you actually go and find the information first. So there's no more in, there's no more excuses about oh no they're hiding all the information gatekeepers this gatekeepers that there's no gatekeepers information is everywhere. So if you want to do anything, start by getting the information and and then make time to do the things that you need to do, need to do, not want to do. And then lastly, plan, 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 and execute, plan and execute, um, taking the action. There's no use of doing the first three if you end up just sitting and not doing anything. Like me, who planned to do this ages ago, um, but I made excuses for not doing it. And yeah, here I am needing to do it anyway so you're going to end up in that position where you're going to need to do the things that you didn't want to do so yeah that's my video um i've gone way over time but that's because it's the first one i think the next one will be so much simpler um i'm just going to stop somewhere and take a five minute video and just talk about whatever it is that i've learned hope you enjoyed it uh if this is your first time watching a video on my channel then please subscribe um in terms of my music you'll find it everywhere on all the streaming platforms soundcloud um what's it apple music spotify all of those areas you'll find my music please subscribe please like the video um and that's it i'm out i'm about to buy yesterday Zella. i'm telling you folks i'm telling you brother this is a joke but nobody's laughing pick up the phone i'm gonna play yesterday Zella. back in 94 we thought it was over but our data starting all over and every day i'm about to buy yesterday Zella.